Hey, what's up everybody? DC Designs reached out to me directly in response to the new Harrier flight dynamics and I wanna read that to you and then we'll talk, okay? From DC Designs. Hi, yes, this is the correct behavior for the Harrier. Believe me, this is still enormously toned down from the real Harrier, which could quite literally kill you and hover if you get certain things wrong. The Harrier is affected both by environmental factors such as wind, aerodynamics factors through com computational flight dynamics and the thrust of its engines this reflects more accurately the real airplane as you're literally f still flying while hovering, just like in real life. Unlike, say, the F-35, which just uses the sim slew function to hover, meaning you can switch off the engines, turn upside down, and still be hovering. My response. First off, I'd like to thank you for reaching out. I think that is great. I think your planes are the absolute best in the sim. I am a huge ambassador of your products. I make a video every Friday just to update everyone on the progress of your upcoming jets, such as the F-4. I appreciate you trying to capture the realism of the Harrier. I'm a veteran of the Air Force and have seen the Harrier only a handful of times. In my opinion, for what it's worth, I feel it's a bit rocky now and it's going backwards like it did originally. Having said that, this is your product and you have the right to make it any way you choose. I speak on behalf of everyone. We love your jets. I speak the truth on how I feel to my followers on my channel. Thanks again for reaching out, and we cannot wait for all the great plans you have planned for this year. Now, first and foremost, like I said, I wanted to be very respectful for somebody that's going to take the time to reach out to us, okay? We're the consumer, so we're very important, and this gentleman clearly knows that. That runs DC Designs, so um, that's awesome, and I hope he's watching all our videos. I hope every developer watches these videos and says, hey, what does my audience want so that I can make what they want, deliver a product, and I'll even I'll sell more, you know what I'm saying? And this isn't about selling or money. It's just about you know having fun in the, on the simulator that we love playing. So uh, I think the response is strong, and and let me tell you something. If that's how the fly, the, the Harrier flies for real, I'm cool with it. I mean, it's just going to be an adjustment. To, uh, it's going to be an adjustment, you know, time frame. Like my buddy Go Bucks was telling me this morning, it, I'll have to adjust on how to. Fly. It's it's like hard now, guys, to to precision land. I mean, the thing's wobbling everywhere. But like I said, here's my true opinion. If that's exactly how it's supposed to be flying then i'm all good with it that is fine by me and i'll i'll learn and take the time to to precision that thing i mean it's just on the level of the helicopters now in my opinion so um anyways i think it's still cool that these guys take the time to uh you know reach out to the community and without dc designs we'd be out w without the f-15 the f-16 the f-14 i mean the game would be a shell of what it is currently so, you know, I'm really grateful for those folks, guys, and uh, we, we absolutely need them. I just want to make sure that, you know, we're doing everything we can to, to share how we feel about the planes. Let me know in the comments below of how you feel about my response. I hope I handled that correctly and what you guys think as well, okay? Uh, make it a great weekend, guys, and enjoy your day. Later.